What's going on people? Welcome back to the YouTube channel and welcome back to another video. Um, kind of a little bit of a weird intro this morning because, well, I was running short on time to go to the gym and honestly, I completely forgot to film the intro. But anyways, pull workout about to go down and I'm gonna explain to you guys in detail my new workout program. So sit back, relax and enjoy the video. Wow, child, fire starter. <laughs> wow, style, fire starter. I'm a wildfire, hit you like a prize star. Ooh, baby, I'm a wildfire. Straight from the block, no, I cannot be stopped. I'm a wild child, hit you with the hot star. Heavy sets now. We'll see what happens because I haven't done any heavy deadlifts in like a month or so. So let's see what happens. Showtime, baby, I'm on. I peep your viewing. If you were about to hit you like a prize fighter from the back and knock it out of the park like Maguire. A King Griffey, I do it and get busy. Run the map in the city, you're hating, you don't feel me. Cleaning up this dirty money till I'm filthy. Rich, huh? Yeah, like Richie on the top where the hills be. Like it's Beverly Hills where the meals be. It be worse. For one month with an off without any other leaves, I'll take it. Put out. Fresh off the block, I had to get out. I got mines and then I got out. I'm a wildfire. Hit you like a prize. Child. Yeah, that's all facts. Rubber band stacks, 10 bands in a backpack. On a light day, I move the weight like Amtrak. A style like this is killing them like anthrax. Yeah, you know I got that dope. A plug on the line, yeah, I got that quote. If you sink and can't swim, you can't float my boat. I stand on what I say, my word is my oath, dog. You wouldn't understand a boss life, your own call. Waiting on my downfall, hoping I fall off. But catch me if you can, I'm on the go like an outlaw. Wild out, I bring the style out. So much fire they can't put out. Fresh off the block, I had to get out. I got mines and then I got out. Uh huh. I'm a wildfire, hit you like a prize So we are back home and now it is time for me to explain to you my current training program. I made some big changes to my workout program and I want to like explain to you guys everything in detail. So um, as you guys know, until now I've been doing my, well, what it was one of my, and it is one of my favorite uh, workout splits, which was chest and triceps, legs, back and biceps and shoulders, which worked really well last year during my bulk. But this year, I don't know why it has not been working as I expected to work. So I decided to change it completely. Now with that split, I have frequency chew on every muscle group every nine days. But as I said, it has not been working as good as it should. Well, as I expected to work and as it, as, as it did work last year. So now I'm running a push pull leg split with two rotations. Now, I know that I've always said that um, for the past years I've been a bit reluctant when it comes to push pull legs because 
mainly because of my shoulder inflammation because I, I did not want to train chest and shoulders on the same day because I thought um, that was putting a lot of stress on my joint on, and on my, well, my inflammation. But I've decided to give it a try to just plan my workouts really well, be very cautious when it comes to well, choosing what exercise I'm doing and just basically see how it works for me. And also I want to gain a little bit of more strength during the next upcoming months, especially in the compound movements on the big three like squats, deadlifts and bench press. So we will be starting each workout with a compound movement on strength rep ranges pretty much on every single day. So starting off with day one, push day number one, um, chest, shoulders and triceps. Um, when it comes to the, sh to the chest, it's, there's not gonna be any major focus, just one exercise for each part of your chest, like middle, upper and lower. And as I said, we are starting with bench press, three sets of three reps. I'm trying to go as heavy as I can and just trying to gain a little bit of strength. I've been doing five sets of five on the compounds um, until now, so now we're gonna be moving into three sets of three and we will be changing that over time so we don't always do the same because variety is also one of the keys. But for now, we are gonna be doing three sets of three reps. So, um, yeah, as I said, um, chest, no major focus, one exercise for each uh, part of your chest. Now, shoulders, they won't have any major focus either on this day, just a little bit of work for each head, except for the anterior head because um, well, it is pretty much involved on any chest exercise and during the anterior deltoid exercises, it, that is when my shoulder hurts the most. So I'm gonna try to avoid them as much as possible, even though I've added one exercise on the second push day, but I will talk about that later. But yeah, push day number one, as I said, no major focus on the shoulders either, just a little, a little bit of work for every single head, except for the anterior head. Now, finally moving on into triceps, it's gonna be basically one exercise for the long head, the overhead dumbbell extension, and the rope cable push down for the lateral head. This is gonna be just focusing on mass, long head, and detail, short hair. Short head, not hair. Okay, moving on. Day two, full day number one. We are starting off with deadlifts, just like the bench press, three sets of three. We'll try to slowly um, increase the weight that I work with and basically to get stronger. So also with the back days and or pull days, uh, until now I've been separating, um, well, the thickness work and with work in two separate days, but now I'm gonna be doing a little bit of both on each pull day, but each one of them will have, a, well, will focus more on one of them. So for example, pull day number one is gonna be more focused on thickness, even though it will also have a couple of with exercises like pull, lat pull down and pull ups. But as I said, it's gonna be mainly focused on back thickness. Now, as for the biceps, nothing super special to say here, just barbell curl and seated hammer dumbbell curl, just a one exercise for each, uh, for each head of the biceps. Nothing super special to say here. So, Day number three, leg day number one. Major focus on quads on both leg days this time. Until now I've had a quad focused leg day and then another hamstrings and glutes focused leg day. But now I'm gonna be focusing on quads on both days since I feel like they are falling a bit behind. So, nothing super special to say here about this uh, leg day, just three quads exercises, ex starting with squats, three sets of three heavy reps, just like the bench press and the deadlifts, and then we are doing a little bit of uh, hamstrings work and calves work, because they are definitely, well, way behind my quads and hamstrings and everything rest, uh, and everything else in my body. So, yeah, anyways, quad focus on both leg days, but as always with a little bit of hamstrings work and glutes work on the next leg day, but we'll talk about that later. Hey, push day number two. Um, for the chest, no major focus on this chest day either, just a, well, one exercise for each part of the chest, just like the first day, but we are starting with incline bench press and not flat to put a little bit of more emphasis on the on the upper chest, but nothing super, super special. I mean, it's not like I'm focusing on one part of the chest on, on each push day. I'm just trying to work the overall chest and do at least one exercise for each part of the chest. So yeah, incline bench press, flat, dumbbell press, and dips. Upper, middle, and lower, easy. Then we are moving into shoulders. Here we are doing a little bit of more, well, they will have a little bit more work since we have a superset in there. 
of uh, well, seated lateral raises and seated rear delt raises. Um, and what I told you before, a front barbell raise. Why am I adding this one? Because I wanna see how it feels. Um, I just wanna do a little bit of testing with my shoulder to see how that feels. And if it hurts, I will probably change it for another uh, exercise for the lateral head or maybe another superset for the lateral and the posterior head. But I just added that one to, to basically test how my shoulder feels doing, uh, doing those type of movements. I know that it used to hurt, but uh, I don't know. I just wanna see how my shoulder responds and depending on, on how it does respond, I will adapt my, well, not, I was gonna say my program, not my program, that exercise. So if it hurts doing that exercise, I will just get rid of it and put another lateral um, another exercise for the lateral head or the anterior or another superset for both. I don't want to put more uh, shoulder presses on the same day because that really puts a lot of stress on my on my inflammation and I don't want that. So yeah, we'll see how my shoulder uh, responds to that. And finishing off with triceps, long head and medial head. Long head with the school crushers and medial head with the reverse grip um, cable push down. Day number five, pull day number two. This one will have a little bit of more uh, with focus since the first pull day was more focused on thickness. This one will be a little bit more focused on width. So we are doing some heavy barbell rows, but this one is not going to be uh, on sets of three. This one will be on sets of eight, which is still a short rep range, but not as short as the well, three to five rep range. So barbell row, then pendulum row. That's gonna be it for the thickness work, the pendulum row, and the rest of the exercises. Lat pull down, close grip uh, pull down, and pull over will be pretty much lat work to well to keep working on that width because my back is definitely one of my weak points, and I would really want to bring that up. And well, that's when I'm gonna put a lot, a lot, a lot of emphasis during the rest of this bulk. And finally, biceps, just like the first day, nothing super special to say here. Preacher curl and cross body hammer curl. One exercise for each head of the biceps. And last day of the week, well, last workout of the week, leg day number two. This one will be a, a little bit more focused on the posterior chain, even though it will still have some quad works, uh, work, some quads work. I'm telling you, I can't even speak today. Um, so we're starting with squats, not not three sets of three here. We're gonna be doing four sets of eight. A little bit of higher rep just to add some variety in, in there and not fatiguing my CNS so much because honestly, if I do three sets of three heavy reps on every single day of the week, by Sunday, I'm gonna be pretty much literally dead. So I don't want that. So squats, four sets of eight, then hip thrust for the glutes. That will probably be my only glute, uh, direct glute work. Then goblet squats, um, barbell Romanian deadlift, then hamstring curls, and then finishing off with some calves, as always. So that is pretty much my current training program. Weekly volume for each muscle group is that that you're seeing on the screen right now. As you can see, I've put obviously more attention and more weekly volume on my weak points, which I consider to be my back, especially um, quads now, calves, uh, but yeah, it's, it just overall has more weekly volume on my, on my weak points, obviously, because I really want to bring them up and that's what I want to focus on doing this bulk. But yeah, now it's all about putting into practice and see how my body responds to it. Um, I feel like it's going to be maybe a bit too much volume on, for certain muscle groups, especially for my back, because I'm hitting pretty much 40 uh, working sets per week. And I feel that's gonna be um, that's gonna be a little bit too much, but we'll see. We'll see how my body responds because honestly, I've had that amount of volume before, uh, volume before, and it wasn't really that bad. Actually, my body was responding really well. So we'll see how my body responds this year, especially with my current caloric intake, which is well, pretty pretty high. Uh, it's it has it's well not maybe the highest it has been ever been, but close because I'm like. Uh, if you guys watch the full day of eating video, I'm roughly at 3,200 calories. Some days, 3,300, 3, somewhere around that. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how my body responds. Okay, guys, so now, 
This program is 100% tailored to me, to my, well, my weak points, to my injury, to the areas that I want to bring up, to my level and training experience, to my current caloric intake, as I told you, and just overall to my personal preferences and the, well, the, vo the training volume that I know my body can handle. So why am I saying this? Because you guys can do it if you want. You guys can copy my workout program. Actually, I've made a free downloadable PDF. So you guys, if you guys want a, well, to get this program, you just have to go to my to the description and you will find the link that will that will what will allow you to download it. You don't even have to put your email or anything. It will just pretty much take you to Google Drive and then you will. Okay, sorry about that. That SD card got full. But anyways, um, as I was saying, it will just take you pretty much to Google Drive and you will be able to download it. The thing is, the key for any fitness program to work, whether it's nutrition program or training program or both, the key is individualization. It needs to be tailored to you. So just because you find a random guy or girl on YouTube explaining his or her uh, workout program, just like in this case me, and explaining how every uh, how well it's gonna work for him or for her or how well it's supposed to work, doesn't mean it's gonna work just as well for you or that it's gonna bring you the same results. So. This program, as I said, it is tailored to me. Just like it should be your program. It should be tailored to you. So instead of just copying the program just because this is what I'm doing or copying any other program that you find on YouTube, what I want you guys to take from all of this is four principles that are, well, four general principles and rules that will help you more than just um, well, copying any random program. Frequency number one, frequency two, maybe not for every single muscle group, but definitely for your weak points and your, well, the areas that you want to bring up. Um, well, related to the point number one, point number two, more weekly volume and more attention to your weak points, obviously. Um, number three, prioritize compound movements and the basics. Guys, I always say the same and I will always say the same. The basics are the basics for a reason and that reason is that they work. So don't just do the fancy shit that you see on IG. Um, focus on the basics and focus on the compounds because that's what will allow you to really make some solid progress. And number four, just try to apply progressive overload, uh, overload, overload uh, week after week. It may not be well, lifting more weight every single week, but it can definitely be doing one more rep or one more, more set or handling, well, X amount of weight easier or with better technique. That is also progress. So focus on that and focus, please, on adapting your program to you. Not just copying random things on, on the internet, but rather grabbing general principles that, well, people teach and then applying them to your program and applying them to you. This is all about trying things out and seeing if they work. If they do, perfect, you just keep doing them or even optimizing them. But if they don't, you just change your program and try a different thing. So I just wanted to clarify that because I feel like a lot of people just watch YouTube videos and copy random workout plans. But you need to keep in mind that your workout plan in order to bring you optimal results, it needs to be tailored to you. Don't just copy random things on, on the internet because that it may work for some time, but it's not gonna work in the long term. So in the long term, you want results, perfect. Tailor your program to you. So yeah, I think this is everything I wanted to say, guys. Uh, this is my program, my current program. We'll see, we'll see how it works. I will keep you guys updated, obviously, and you will guys see uh well each one of these workouts and here see how i train and how i do things as always i just want to bring as much value to you as possible and share everything with you guys so you get as much insight as possible and you learn as much as possible so yeah as i told you program is in the description please don't just copy it for the sake of copying it grab it if you want you can try it to see if it works for you but i would Rather than just copying it, I would prefer you to download it and then adapt it to you. So yeah, anyways, this is gonna be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you guys liked it. And I hope you guys uh, got something out of it. And if you did, please let it be those four principles that I told you now at the end. And yeah, don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to join the family if you haven't already. Thank you so much if you do, and I'll see you in the next one.